Well, good morning. Well, it's not morning, it's actually nice. Um, as you can see, it's a new flyback driver. It's a singing arc as well. But this time, it's a half bridge. Yep, it's a half bridge. I built the circuit right there. It's a KA7500B chip. It's a pulse rate modulation. Not intended to be audio modulated, but I still did it. There you can see the potential ultra at the input voltage. You might notice two four transistors here. It's a push pull output amplifier. They got an oscilloscope. oscilloscope. This connector goes to the gate right transformer. No, don't ask me because I pulled this out of a power supply. All three of the windings were in parallel. You might notice I'm not using the 22 ohm and the back to back Zeno diodes at all. I found this setup to work perfect and I'm not gonna change it. Fly back. There's the bridge rectifier. And you may, might notice I don't have a filtering cap. The caps on the half bridge act as a filter, which is good. Yeah. I'm powering the power supply. This is the actual half bridge power supply, 24 volts, 36 volt amperes. There's my scope. I think it's overexposed. That's the oscillator. might look overexposed, I think. I think that's better. Well, this is what happens when I plug in the gate drive transformer. Yeah, that's the gate drive transformer. I built the connector. Almost like a square wave. Um, you might notice there are some ripples. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's currently on AC. 5 volts per division, so the 10 volts in between. And... Mm, guess what happens when I turn on the, the main air force? Easily audio modulated and watch this. I just ignore Pac Man on uh, steroids. I mean, I listen. I'm not sure how this is going to come out on video, but it, it sounds so clean. I'll just turn it on. There is a lot of 60 Hz in my ear. Take a look at this, those hearts. This is no audio. Oh yeah, also think there is about 10 turns of primary. Well, we'll just turn the thing in my bar off. Well, the half bridge works perfect. It does get hot, but not like hot as a single transistor driver. Yeah. Well.
I'll just show you the, the thingy in close up. It took me a while to get this thing built, but I'm very satisfied with it. Oh yeah, I found out this circuit actually runs on 200 kilohertz. 200 kilohertz. I did the scope frequency. It was five divisions. Five divisions. With, yeah, five divisions between each thingy. And it was set on one microsecond. I did the frequency and I found out it's actually 200 kilohertz. Well, I'll show you the circuit in full detail. Hopefully, I don't overexpose myself. That's uh, NPN, NPNP, I think. You may be able to locate the chip. That's the audio connector. Yeah, that's the audio. This is the audio potential moment. It's the audio input capacitor. And that's the output to the gate drive shuttle. And this is the resonant capacitor. My terrible soldering. Filtering cap, two resistors, them two are for the integrated transistors. You might notice that the timing resistor and timing capacitor just above the audio modulation capacitor. It's a point zero one two thousand volts. Yeah. I'm not going to keep this up long, but uh, the heating does get warm after a while, but what doesn't? <laughs> uh, this is the original schematic. I'll just wake up my cloud 95. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering, I got Windows 95 and it's running. This is the final schematic. This is the schematic we started off. You can find the sun, oozers, whatever you call them. You may notice the frequency. It's a 200 to 330 picofarad. I'm using a 200 picofarad capacitor. I eliminated the duty cycle. Well, I'll show you. And this is the schematic I chose. That's the audio input. You might notice I'm not using duty cycle or the frequency. I didn't need that. Plus, I couldn't get the chip working without duty cycle, so I shorted the, the pins 2 and 3 went to ground. That's how they worked. 300 picofarads were there for the maximum 110. It's 110 kilohertz. I used one. Push pull. Problem in this circuit. I eliminated those resistors. These resistors are so small, they overheat the chip very easily, especially on 15 volts. I did it this way. There's my resin capacitor, there's the flyback, there's the transformer, and that's it. Um, I used the 640 microfarad capacitors. Yeah, that entire circuit. Very simple. But who knew chips could be so much fun. Especially this one. Well, I'll leave you with a... Well... Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully I didn't bore you. Yeah, that's my final schematic. Just move the pen out. Yeah, that's the internal transistors in there. Yeah, and they connect to The gate drive transformer. Don't ask me about the gate drive transformer because I pulled it out of a power supply. And it worked, so I didn't modify it. And that's it.
hopefully I build a better one next time.